see it, right? Same thing in here. Voila, you can see that. See, it looks very beautiful right now. I see warm. There's a warmer shadows in here. Some in there. But now you see the cool and warm playing together here. So I'm using black right now. Uh, the number is so it's about 570. Then go on top of the eyebrows. This state, I'm gonna do the redraw. What was I, uh, I uh, you know, tell my student? Because when we do a lots of layer, we're losing out uh, the drawing, the original draw lines. So it's time for us to redraw them a little bit. And and also because of the um, the value here needs something dark, so I can control the value to see how dark uh, the shadow, and from there I I can see how light the skin should look like, okay? Just a little touch of the black. And the pressure is light to medium. I'm still not going through the detail yet. I'm still just do a little bit of black to control the value. I'm gonna add more colors in her eyes. Okay, another color I'm using to it is 635. It's a dark brown. And I just go on top of this a little bit. For the next step, I would like to work um, on her hair. Uh, I want to make them a little bit uh, the hair a little bit darker. And I start with two colors. You can see my hand here. This is black. Uh, the number is 750. And this is dark brown. The number is 635. Um, the reason uh, I am I like to do the hair a little bit darker. So I can compare the values here to her skin tone. This is not finished, but I want to see if something next to her skin tone, like her hair, is darker, then I will see how lighter the skin tone should look like. For me now, because I have no black in here, it's not 100% black, the skin look a little bit dark. So if I have some black in her hair, I can see that the skin is dark or light. Alright, so let's start. And the pressure is from light to medium. This might take a while to uh, to fill up her hair, so be patient with me, okay? So I think that color here, um, the value here, um, a little bit light. I need the shadow a little bit darker. So in this case, I'm gonna use 
to the combination of uh, SIG 40 and SIG 35, okay? So I start with the SIG 35 first. The pressure is light. I don't want it too dark, so I have to be very, very careful. I like the greenish color here, so I'm trying to, you know, I have a very light touch. So I'm not going to take, you know, cover all the green color. I want the green there. for me to uh, add some colors in her hair and I think that skin tone here look quite beautiful really but I want to work on the hair then I'm gonna work on the fur and I come back for the final touch okay so I think that part is uh, of her hair is very blurry and it's more into the angel body here and you can see that edges is very soft so I'm gonna add some green on it this color is uh, 585 okay 585. I'm gonna add some greenish colors in here. Put some greenish in the hair. Mix up the hair. Okay. Same thing in that side too. But we're gonna go up on this side first. With the greenish here. Then I'm gonna add the SIG 40. This is kind of this color here, SIG 41 browns on top of the green. It's a beautiful combination, you know. It's, it's cool play with warm together and I soft on the edges some colors in here in her hair so it's time for me to uh, add a little bit more colors in the hair uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, deep blue I love this color 290s uh, it's very deep uh, blues and it's, uh, it's gonna make the hair look more natural okay just a bit of blue here and there I, I don't see a lot of details in the hair in the photo reference but you know when I'm copying the masterwork I like to do a little bit of my thing in this too you know I add more color I'm changing here and there I'm not quite, you know, copy 100%, it's just my personality. But you don't have to do it. If you want to copy a masterwork and you want to be faithful to the original, it's your choice, okay? It's, it's not like it. you have to. I like to change the color here and there, and it's just, I, I, I like to do that. Uh, the next step um, I decided to work is uh, Undo Angel here. I decided this is going to be my color palette here. I'm going to use some browns to the 635, 640. Uh, I'm not going to use this color here. Uh, some yellow ochre. This is a 615, 685, and the highlight is 105. Okay. I tried to use uh, in this range of color here um, to make the angel. It's kind of yellow, warm, brown, no color. Okay. Again, uh, it's some color, monotone but I want uh, full colors in here, all right? So before I do it, I would like to work on this angel face. I'm gonna reach out the face a little bit. darker values here. I'm gonna work 
from dark to light, okay? So I'm gonna, gonna make it dark here based on the reference. Dark. Continue using SIG uh, 35 dark brow to add some shadow uh, underneath the finger here. see how patient I am. It took a long time to work on her, um, her top, but I enjoyed it. The color I'm using is the same color as 105, the ivy colors, and the whole thing here is it no white, okay? Just big cross hatching. I took in my time, very light touch. I like to create the textures of it. You can see how it looks like uh, linen, so I love it. Just a little bit of like disappear here. Light up, very light. We're almost done. The next step we're gonna do is I'm gonna come back and work on the detail here and there, and now we got done. Okay. Head here, very light touch. Just some cheekbone, maybe. So, every time I do a copy of a masterwork, I learn about values, I learned about the way uh, they apply for the skin tone. I learned how to control the edges, where it's soft, so where it's you know sharp in here. So those things we need to learn from the old master. It's very important to learn to control those things. So I wish I had more time. I would do the whole painting, but unfortunately, I won't be able to. Changing the temperature.
uh, after a couple hours of uh, working on this painting, uh, I finally can see this is done. Uh, it's in my signature somewhere around here, but I will take care of it later on. Uh, I would like to say thank you for following me, and I hope that you enjoy you know, watching the video with me. Uh, I have such a good time, and I hope you, uh, you know, have the same thing. Uh, watching me, uh, learning with me about the values, the colors, um, the skin tone, so many things I have learned just by you, you know, do a copy of uh, Bogoro's work. So the best thing to do is do it yourself, all right? So I like you to bring all the tips you're watching of my videos and do it yourself. A file masterwork which you liked and just simply do a copy. The first time is not, sometimes it's not the best. But you can do better as a second time. So, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.